From a very young age, I loved sin and everything that came with it. The excitement, the curiosity, lying, hiding it, and then getting away, so I thought. I, haven't, I have always had that personality that would always push the envelope and make people laugh and honestly didn't know when to stop until it was too late. The older I got, the more enslaved I became to the sin in my life. Violence, domestic violence, came hand in hand with the lifestyle that I chose to continue living into my mid-30s. I couldn't stop using substances, so I did the next best thing, moved to another town for a new start. Little did I know, everything was going to continue to get worse. I had lost all hope and was telling all my friends um, I had the, at the time that I was brought there to show them what it looks like to be an addict who's going to die. There was no hope for me. I gave my life to Jesus in 2015, and whoever said that God, God equips the called, I wholeheartedly believe that. Um, fast forward to today, the Lord has brought me back out here to Fargo to practice being an addiction counselor. Um, <laughs> I don't deserve it, truly, I don't. I get to help people just as I was helped. The Lord has given me the opportunity to sponsor guys, mentor guys. In the Genesis house, you guys changed my life. I get to sponsor them just as my sponsor did with me. Um, I've helped the jail chaplains with giving back, running groups as they help me overcome a lifelong struggle with anger rage, and violence. It took anger management, distress tolerance, and character insight group to overcome that problem. Thank you, Jesus. I'm uh, volunteering with my church. I uh, help with Celebrate Recovery Weekly. God is good, Jesus saves, and he is alive. <laughs>